such a beautiful spot. And people love it, and the more people that come out for the food and beverage, they also get great exposure to all the great things that the horticulture team do. So it's like a, a double bonus for all of us, you know, when we starting to combine both, you know, these great gardens and flowers and topiaries with the, with the great food and beverage offerings. So people really are enjoying the combination of the two. Yeah, that really is kind of a draw. I never really thought of it that way, but I think it's giving people that appreciation because they can come out now and make a day of it, come for lunch, enjoy it, come for dinner. Is that kind of what you're planning to with that variety of drinks that you have around the world? Yeah, so the majority of our items are still in the tasting size, you know, portion, so similar to food and wine, but all the items are different than food and wine. So you will see different items that you won't find at food and wine here at Flower and Garden. So it's all going to be focused on fresh flavors, um, mainly local sources as well. So you'll see that um, uh, spotted throughout, you know, throughout the promenade, um, and and the tie-ins to the flower and garden. So you'll see um, both in our food and our beverages. You'll see herbs, flowers. You'll see um, vegetable tie-ins, um, as well as a lot of fruit-forward uh, taste for your palate. So it's really a nice marriage of the two. And I really like, like say, that watermelon drink that you can get with the gin. That's really fresh, and it's going to be appropriate even as it heats up, isn't it? It is, and we and you'll see we have a lot of frozen beverages um, out there just because of the time of season that we're coming into. Starting off in spring, you know, finishing, you know, towards, you know, the summer where it's going to be getting a little warmer. And um, for Flower and Garden, all our frozen beverages are available for uh, with the alcohol or without the alcohol for the younger, the younger heart. Oh, so that's really because it's a family-oriented event in general anyway. Correct. Correct. And, and mom and dad can have some pretty good things too uh, when, when they come along. Absolutely, absolutely. So th there's a taste profile for everyone. We have both the savory, we have the sweet, we have everything from you know, the salads to the whole pork, you know, that you know you can, you know, your taste buds can dance a little bit. So it's really fun. And you have the suggested pairings too there, so people don't even have to think, do they? They can just go for it. Yeah, they're tied in. They're, they're tied in naturally um, with, with each outdoor kitchen. So for the smokehouse, for instance, we have the um, we have the, uh, the pork ribs. Um, we have the, um, the the pigs, the whole pork pig, you know, slide slide slider in there, which is a crowd favorite. We have the bris bristol brisket um, hash that has a white cheddar um, sauce with jalapenos, and then you tie that in with our maple bacon stout. Oh. You know, so you can see how the, the, the pairing goes right. The pairing goes right together. Oh yes, and do you think the festival kind of makes that accessible? Like some people really are into the pairings. Some may be exposed to this for the first time. Do you think this kind of is a little entry level to draw people into that foodie and food and wine experience? Yeah, so so well, the majority of the, the beverages that you see here you will not find out in the local in the local market. You know, they're not necessarily ready available. So we took a lot of time and effort to source these and we have um, several items that are exclusive to just the festival. You know, on our beers, there's there's the um, Florida Akai Berry Hefeweizen. It tastes just like a chocolate banana. The only place you can get it is here or where they brew it. That's it. You know, we also have the Feast of Flowers beer, very light floral ac accents, only here or at the brewery. Maple Bacon Stout, only here or at, you know, the brewery. So these, some of these things they're not going to find out there in the world. And you're right, they get exposed to things that they've never been exposed to before. Oh, that's wonderful. Just another reason to come out to Epcot for the wonderful Flower and Garden Festival. Thank you so much for that tantalizing talk. Absolutely. Thank you.